Okay, guys, this is a presentation on risk and safety management. <coughs> Over there. Uh, just a bit about risk theory. Risk theory is the likelihood. Um, looks like, you know, risk theory is the likelihood of harm happening to someone or something or someone. Different types of risk include perceived risk, absolute risk, and real risk. Perceived risk is the subjective, or subjective and relative to the individual. Therefore, the perceived risk might be different from real risk. Absolute risk is the prominent most. Obvious risk before the safety measures are taken. Real risk is the risk taken after safety measurements are in place. What is risk management? Looking after yourself, looking after others, or keeping safe. Okay, that next slide there, Luke, thank you. Um, okay, this is an example of a, ri a risk spectrum. Just shows just from freq frequency of occurrence to severe severity of harm. In the scale system, so it's either frequent, likely frequent, then to remote chance or catastrophic to slight chance of something going wrong. Um, yeah, that's just a respect for me. Next slide, I do. Thanks very much. So, for the, for a reference point on this, so I'm just trying to get back on this. For reference points in this presentation, I'm going to talk about the Mangay Popo Canyon tragedy. You might recognize from Luke's, Luke's presentation. And um, this event that happened in New Zealand in 2008. 15th of April, and almost 12 years on, and it's still fresh in the minds of survivors and the victim's family. Seven people were killed, as you see the seven people here. Um, and a canyon of tragedy, so canyon is just like a gorge. This is a place in New Zealand with like a, a volcanic, vol volcanic valleys everywhere, and they're just going down with the watery, um, the watery gorge. Sorry, it was, it was just one second. So seven people lost that lost their lives that day on a canyon trip while with the Saint Edmund Hillary Outdoor Pursuits Centre uh, in the north of New Zealand's Central Island. The participants, are, the participants are one teacher, a leader, and six students were out in the banks of a river where they were hit by flash floods. The original size of the group was approximately forty people, but at the time of the highest risk, risk situation, there was ten of them on the ledge on the ledge of the river near a dam and the water was steadily rising. This was a rescue attempt. This was a rescue attempt. The rescue attempt was sprung into action with a trail rope from the opposite side of the river being deployed. The rescue attempt was successful for, for, a, few, for a few of the group, but as a ledge, the group were on, were on was above a big fall on the, ri the river, and the people who missed the rope went over the fall, and unfortunately, most of the group who went over the, fall, went over the falls died. Although the participants were kitted out in the correct personal protective equipment, including wetsuits, buoyancy aids, the majority of the group were lacking a vital piece of life-saving equipment, a mobile phone, as phones were not permitted on the, the course in this OPC. And that was 2008 and there wasn't too many people with phones, but they weren't allowed to have mobile phones on this course. So you can hit space there, Luke. Thanks. This is just a map of the uh, Tongariro Tongariro National Park. So Tongariro is an old, an old um, uh, volcano, and there's all these gorges and streams going through them. This is the Mangay Mangay Popo stream there, where this incident happened. And you can throw it up to the next one there, Luke. Please. Thank you very much. Um, okay, a tragedy that could have been avoided. So there's a couple of reasons here in an article I was reading about why, how the how did it tragedy could be avoided. The first was that the cell phones were banned. And it's just a quote underneath that uh, bye bye mummy, one of the girls who died joked in the text before she handed in her mobile phone and her mother obviously read the text and panicked and then later, later found out that her daughter had died. There was an accurate weather, weather report taken on the day. Um, there were lower ratios and the, com the com competency of the leaders on the day all had a part to play in making this one of the biggest tragedies in adventure, in adventure sports in New Zealand I've ever seen. And the warning signs of the dangers of this gorge were there long before this incident happened. So there had been incidents and accidents before on this, on this particular stretch of water and the ratios weren't, weren't met and just weren't, weren't, weren't dealt to uh, 
to deal with what, what was about to unfold. So you can skip on to the next slide there and it just shows you pre some of the previous incidents that were okay. There's not there's been loads of them since before and since, but I just took a few of the ones before. So in 1976, 20 years beforehand, the student had died by being swept away in the river cross by just doing a river crossing. Uh, we're probably used to that in coast here and just crossing a river, but sometimes the river can be stronger than you. Most of the time the river can. So you can see that even up to up to 1998 there'd been a lot of incidents which all should have, even the, the smaller than student fractures ankle, the st staff training day, to look at the gorge rescue, it helped, helped the group management, actually, sorry, I don't really understand that. Um, a few near misses along the way, anyway, so it should, should have been a lot stricter with placements involved. Up until, up until leading to this 1998 incident. You can change the slide there, Luke. So this is the changes that have been in place since the OPC tragedy. Um, appointment permanent, permanent, permanent external safety review team. Commission a review of its core adventure challenge courses. Introduce a new safety program designed to ensure instructors allow for sub substantial margin of safety to benchmark their go or no go decisions and to reduce the potential for errors in human judgment. They enhance training and induction processes, identify activities which require two person, two instructors present, better instructor awareness of previous incidents and possible risk and responses, subscription to MET service, severe weather, weather warning service. Change on there, Luke. Thank you very much. Um, this is Ireland's water safety message for use of inland waterways. That's a lot different than New Zealand, but just have to be beware of submerged objects. Always enter water feet first. We would have learned that from the coast here. Um, cold water in lakes can be dangerous. It's often much colder beneath the surface than you think. Don't play near the edge of riverbanks. They can come away. Do not retrieve model boats while wading in. Never walk on the ice on ice covered waterway. Reeds and grass often becomes often obscure the edge of the pond. The banks of the pond may be weak. They give way under your weight when angling. Make sure an adult is with you. Excellent. Yep. So there's just some references there, and I will open you up to any questions there if you like, guys. Yeah, um, yeah. I, have, I have a few. Uh, How many survived? Like, survived. Well, well, there was seven dead, so, and there was 40 originally. There was 10 on the bank. Yeah, there was 10 on the bank. Seven got across. Seven died on, out of the 10. Seven yeah. out of the 10 died, and then three of them kind of survived the, right. the final rescue attempt. Yeah. And uh, the. Come to trouble or whatever. The no phone was even the, was the instructor allowed to have a phone. The instructor was allowed to have a phone. I think they had walkie talkies, but there yeah. was no where they were. There was no coverage. There was no way of getting right. in touch with uh, contacts. And the Sir Edmund Hillary o o OPC banned any of their students from having phones, so they weren't allowed. Yeah. And anyone, which was the major reason they got into so much trouble. If they had to make outside contact. They would have. Uh, would have been alright. And the uh, last question I have is, uh, do you know you put up a thing where it's like all the people that injured themselves, was that all on that one? That was all the people that died. Or was that on that one waterfall, or was that on that river overall? Uh, or was that one? Was that that one section? That was that one rescue tank, the one section where where the water, the flood, the flood, flood, flood warnings came in. They obviously got thirty to safety when. No, not that group. Like, see the way yeah. you said all the incident reports you showed. Uh, bum bum bum, one into the fourth year show. You showed all the incidents. Oh, no, sorry, the example of a risk set spectrum and stuff. No, 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 no all the incidents since 1997. Oh, yeah, so yeah, that was, that was all on the same board, yeah. Yeah, that was all, all, was that all on the same section, or was that just. Yeah, well, I'm sure you, like, I showed you on the map that the gorge was big, so it would have been on that on that gorge, or or running from that OPC, yeah. running from that centre. They were all the, oh, yeah. all the actions. There was loads more even after this had happened as well, so. It's just. Okay, any more questions? No? Okay, thanks very much. Stop that